Hello, hello and welcome to the McTaggart Attack Podcast. I'm Kevin McTaggart and this is Wednesday, July 21st, 2021. Um, it's not on Monday, I'm not doing this on Monday. It is Wednesday, it is a What's Pissing You Off Wednesday and I will be doing What's Pissing You Off Wednesday today. But I decided this week I only want to do one episode. Maybe this week, maybe here on forward. Um, brief history for you. I I had a hard. I wasn't very consistent when I first did this podcast for years. Then I did like a couple of week, whatever day I felt like I could do it. Then I, I, after doing a couple a week, I decided to just do one a week for like less than a month. Then the pandemic happened and I couldn't do stand up comedy. So I decided to do my podcast five, five episodes a week, Monday through Friday. Then I got sick of doing that. Probably about a year into doing all that. So I changed it to um, two episodes a week. And um, now I'm sick of doing two episodes a week. (laughs) Well, not really. Like, what happened is, like, I've been doing two episodes a week. I've been doing Monday and Wednesday. And I've noticed... That I'm getting more downloads for the Wednesday episodes. So I thought, why not just combine it and do one episode a week? So here we are. See how it goes. Um, It will be, the episodes will be me. It'll be me for the whole thing. But like, I'm going to be like talking about... Whatever the hell I want for like the first part of the podcast. And then the second half of the podcast will be what's pissing you off Wednesday. I'm probably going to call this one what's pissing you off Wednesday for July 21st, 2021. Because I don't know. Because consistency purposes, I don't know. I might do I might do more episodes a week, but like... When it comes to me just giving my opinion and then expressing my opinion about other people's contributions, then, you know, that that's what's going to happen. That's what's happening. I'm only doing one a week. Um, since things are opening now, things are open for the vaccinated people, which I am a vaccinated person. And I'm happy that I'm a vaccinated person. And then there's these people that aren't getting vaccinated. And we wonder why infections are going back up again. Because all these unvaccinated pieces of shit aren't getting vaccinated. No, they probably still won't get vaccinated. Because we're like, oh, I've been infected with the virus. I'm going to, you know, I don't need it. I, I'm immune now because I've had it. <sighs> Whatever. I, I really don't care about the whole vaccination situation. And I didn't mean to like veer off from what I was trying to say. But basically, one episode a week is what's happening. It's probably going to happen. I'll have... I didn't... I got sick and tired of spending so much time on the podcast. So, that's why I'm only doing one a week now. For now. We'll see. I think one a week is better because I want to do stuff on other social media platforms. I want to work on my own stand-up comedy material. And I don't do that with the podcast. Like with the podcast, I just sort of talk about whatever's on my mind. And then I rant on other people's behalf with what's pissing you off Wednesday. You know, and I've tried fleshing out ideas on podcast episodes, but I never listen to my podcast. Nobody does. 
I'm looking at you, everybody. If you listen to my podcast, you have to respond this week. I've just decided. So if you're listening to my podcast, if you listen to my podcast, let me know. Unless I know that you've already listened, that I know that you listen. Or no, no, screw that. Go ahead. We need another roll call. So let me know if you listen to the podcast. That, yeah, that's, that's how this one is happening. Because, I don't know. I just, I just want to do one a week. That's, that's what we're doing. That's what I want to do. Um, I feel like it, it streamlines things. And I think it'd be fine. It'd be good. So like the first half of this, not even first half. I don't even know how I'm going to break it down. I don't even know how long this episode's going to be. It's six minutes already of me just uttering nonsense. But yeah, I'm debating what to call this episode. It might be the What's Pissing You Off Wednesday. You'll know once I publish the goddamn thing. But um, anyway, yeah, that's that's what's happening with this. Um, I just I just figured it would give me more time to do other stuff. Just doing one a week. Because I feel like doing two a week takes away from the downloads i don't know it's like i said the monday episodes weren't doing so well but the wednesday episodes were doing better than the monday episodes so that's where we are so thank you if you've listened if you've been listening and i appreciate it i didn't mean to sound angry at you for listening for god's sakes i'm angry at the people that don't listen I'm angry at the people who contribute to What's Pissing You Off Wednesday, but never actually listen to What's Pissing You Off Wednesday. And that's probably 90% of the contributors to What's Pissing You Off Wednesday. So I might not even call this episode What's Pissing You Off Wednesday, but there will be a What's Pissing You Off. There will be a couple in this episode. I'm not really sure which ones yet. I haven't figured that out. I'm going to look at them. I have some from last week that I might do. But they kind of sucked last week. So why would I still do them this week? I don't really know. Um, I have some from Twitter that I didn't get to last week. That I wish I'd gotten to. Uh, yeah. So. So there. Um, let's see what's happened with me. Let's, uh, I went to... Bowling Mill Comedy Club last night to go watch um, their comedy and burlesque show. I did not stay for the burlesque part, not because I wasn't interested in the burlesque part. I would have been interested in the burlesque part, but I was pretty oh, damn tired by the end of this stand-up comedy portion. So I just, I had to leave because, yes, it's a 40-minute drive, but I, I, I was feeling tired and I didn't want to, like, drive home that late. So there um speaking of comedy shows if you're listening to this early enough on wednesday july 21st i'm performing in the shaskeen show the the comedy night at the shaskeen uh show tonight july 21st i think it starts at 7 30 i think maybe but it's i think it's ten dollars to get in so um, go on out to the Shaskeen to watch me uh, tell jokes and stuff. And other people do. I think there's only like three or four comics on the show. So that's cool. Um, but it's the last run of shows that Nick Lavelli and Dave... What is Dave's last name? Are doing. So I was honored to... I asked if I could be on it. You know, they asked for submissions. I, I Hey, I'm interested. And they emailed me right away and asked me to be on the show. So I... I like that. And there's, then there's a new person taking over. So this, the Wednesday nights at the Shaskeen are still happening. They're just going to be named like Ruby Room Comedy and run by somebody else. So cool. Speaking of comedy, I've been thinking about... I need to do more comedy stuff. I need to do more because I want to do more. And I want to do this. I want to do comedy for a living. You know, I do. I want to do stand-up comedy for a living. I would love that. 
They're great. Or or at least a part-time living right now. You know? Like, I think... What I need to do is just... Go wherever the fuck I can. You know? Um, there are festivals opening up again and submissions for festivals. I've missed submission deadlines for some of the festivals already. But 2022, I will definitely be more um, adept to signing up for these things. And I just I just need to do more of that. I need to, it's, it's really just about getting myself out there more. I, mean, I, I, I didn't do the World Series of Comedy. I didn't submit for the World Series of Comedy this year. But I'm going to do it next year. That's for sure. Um, I just I just need to get myself out there more. I need to go to open mics in areas that I that, like not in Vermont, you know, because like um, I don't know. Well, I will go up to Burlington and do the open mic there if it's at a time that's like. Seven thirty, eight o'clock. Because I get off work at 5 now. So it takes me an hour and a half to get up to Burlington. So that's like 6.30. So if they had a sign-up time for their mic at like 7. That'd be great. You know? Just saying. If they're listening to that. That, that would be good. So yeah. I'm just. Um, trying to think of ways to get out more. Get broaden my. Like. Just, just go, go anywhere I can. I need to drive around more and do more comedy stuff and be willing to drive wherever. Like, uh, yeah, I just, I just need to do that, you know. And I'm, I'm gonna try, and um, I want to. I want. I need to. I have to. I will. Yeah, that's. I, I just have to because I want to do this. I love doing stand-up comedy. It's one of the few things in life that I love to do. And I need to do it. And one thing I thought I would need to do in order for my to to do stand up comedy more is do my podcast less. So I'll do it like once a week. That's why I'm doing it once a week now. It's not because I'm worn out or tired or anything. It's just that like it's just doing it once a week makes a lot more sense since everything's opened up. And everything is open up. As far as I'm concerned, because I've been vaccinated and a lot of people I know have been vaccinated or are getting vaccinated. So, whatever. I mean, there are idiots out there who still don't want to get vaccinated and those people, they they have their reasons and that's cool. And some people have good reasons and some people have shitty reasons. Like, (sighs) Donald Trump's been vaccinated. So why aren't you? All these Congress people who condemned mask wearing and getting vaccinated got vaccinated. So why aren't you? It's just aggravating to me that these fuckers don't get vaccinated. <sighs> it's just frustrating. But yeah, I want to do more comedy stuff, go to more open mics. I don't know if I do open mics as much for, like, reps, maybe. But I think I go do open mics primarily for networking. I've gotten most of my shows from going to open mics. And then saying, hey, you want to be on a show? I'm like, yeah, sure. So I need to go to more open mics. So next week I might start. Next week I will start going to more open mics. Boom. There we go. Next week, I will start going to more open mics. Like, there's one on Thursday. That's the only one I can make of right now. There might be one in Mass- some in Massachusetts that I might drive down to. Maybe not every week, but maybe once every couple weeks. I don't know. I need, to, I need to look at it. I need to plan it out and figure out where the fuck I'm going to go. Or I could just email people and say, hey, I'd like to be considered for shows. I could do that too. I could do both. Also need to work on new material. And I'm doing that. So, so there. 
that's been what's been primarily on my mind this week is and lately or today stand up comedy and other stuff don't really know what other stuff what el what else is going on for me this week I don't really know um don't know I'm not sure um this is a terrible thing to say I don't know I don't know um, I was listening to an ebook that I've already listened to twice before and I listened to it again I listen to more ebooks I listen to ebooks over and over again but I don't read books over and over again is that weird I don't know I was listening to You Are a Badass by Jen Tichero because I like I had this urge. I had something that this voice telling me that I should listen to the book again. So I did. And it's like every time I listen to the book, something clicks that didn't click before. So maybe that's why I listen to these audiobooks over and over again. Maybe I should read the books over and over again. I don't know. I prefer to listen than to read. I have more time to listen in a car than I do read a book at home. If that makes any sense. But one th it was they taught I something that clicked in the book this time around was the part about um uh the ego and how I keep if I wanna do something like um when I first started doing stand up comedy and I took my first stand up comedy class, I drove home in like a blizzard. And I thought, this is just a sign. I just need to get through this. This is, I'm not going to quit because I'm driving home in a snowstorm. You know, just coming up with excuses not to do something. Like if doing what I want to do and then that voice that tells you, no, you shouldn't do that. You should do this instead. That's the ego. Or they call it the big snooze in Jen Sincero's book. So I heard, I listened to that and I paid more attention to that and when I'm listening to it again this time around. So, see, there was the universe telling me to listen to the book again and I listened to the book again and that happened. So what I'm saying is I need to start going to more open mics and stop making excuses not to go to open mics. Oh, I need to get my steps in. Who fucking gives a shit about your steps? I mean, I kind of do, but like stand-up comedy is my top priority. Or I... I I'm saying that now, and I want it to be, and it is, but I feel like it hasn't been for a year and a half now, and I'm making it a top priority again. So there. Let's move on to the rants, the contributions for uh, this week's What's pissing you off Wednesday? Because I, I feel fine. I feel good. I got some stuff off my chest. I talked about some stuff. And um, let me know what you think about the new format um, by contacting me at McTaggart Attack on social media and McTaggart Attack at gmail.com. And um, yeah, just let me know. Let me know what you think of this new, new format. I think I'm going to like one episode a week. And I hope you do too. But anyway... Enough of all that schmarmy bullshit. Let's let's move on to what's pissing you off Wednesday. Okay. Here's the first what's pissing you off Wednesday contribution for this week's episode of the McTigard Attack podcast. It comes from best friend and comedy GW Foley. Waking up and having to go to the bathroom, but someone is already in there. I hate that. Especially when you have to go. There are times when someone else is in the bathroom. And you can be like, okay, I can wait. But we all know those. there are those times. There are those times when we can't wait. And those times suck. They absolutely suck. 
I hate it. I hate those times. Hate it. It's annoying as fuck. It's shitty, quite frankly. I hate when you're all in like the same household and you're all in like the same wavelength and you're all in the same, you know, flow of the universe, so to speak. And you all have to go to the bathroom at the same time. There's only one bathroom to use. And everyone's using that bathroom. Not at the same time, thank God. But why don't they make multiple toilets and bathrooms? They need to make restroom toilets in, in houses. No, that's a terrible idea. I did. Kevin, never suggest that again. No, but... Yeah, because I hate public restrooms. We can't do that shit. We can't do that shit. Can't. But it is... My personal hell would have to be waiting for a, the, the bathroom in the house to clear. And I can't use it. I'm just waiting, and it's taking forever. And then I crap my pants. And it's not funny anymore. It's just sad. And it's annoying. It's, I, I, I hate that feeling. Oh my god. Especially when you're in a rush. We have to go somewhere too. You know, and you need to go to the bathroom before you leave the house. Because you should always leave the bath. You should always go to the bathroom before you leave the house. Even if you don't have to go. You should, just, you should still go. Just to make sure everything's in order. You should. It's, it's good. This is good advice that I'm giving. But it is absolutely aggravating when you have to go and you're like, okay, I'm going to go. This is going to be great. It's not, it's not at like emergency level, mind you, but it's a level where you're like, okay, I'm going to go and this is going to be good. I'm going to enjoy this. Then you can't go in the bathroom because somebody's in there. And I hate that. And I would not wish having to wait to use the bathroom on anyone. No one should have to feel that pain. No one should have to feel that way. No one should have to endure that type of torture. It's it's inhumane. It's it's cruel and unusual punishment, quite frankly. If they if that happened in prisons, it wouldn't happen in prisons. It would be cruel and unusual punishment. So in the house, it's cruel and unusual punishment. It is. It is. Thank you for the contribution, GW. By the way, by the way, um, download GW Foley's podcast, Foley Kills the Podcasts, available on YouTube. It's him just talking, and it's spectacular, because I love those podcasts where it's just other people, where it's just one person talking. I love those podcasts where it's just one person talking. Here's a contribution from Twitter. Liz at MJ Lover 1958-2004. How do people pick their Twitter handles? Like, seriously, was this your first choice? It wasn't your first choice. It couldn't have been your first choice. You must have taken a lot of time to come up with MJ Lover 1958-2004. Anyway, Liz is pissed off at all the hate the John Barrowman is getting. I have no idea what, what, what Liz is talking about here. So let's Google it right here live on a well, live recording. John Barrowman is getting. Googling that. Sends me to Twitter. This kind of hate and shit has to be put out there. Repost it. Check out Kay's video. Hate has no place in our communities, our cities. What the hell is this? There's a TikTok video. I don't know what the hell. 
I don't know what the hell that was. I don't, I don't know who John Barrowman is. I think John Barrowman was on Doctor Who. I did Google it earlier, and it was something about um, he was exposing himself or something. I don't know. I don't know what the John Barrowman is. But um, if he deserves the hate, or if the John Barrowman is a thing, I don't know. I'm not researching this anymore, because I think just going off on what I'm seeing sounds like pretty good content anyway, but um, whatever John Barrowman did, if he's getting hate for it, he probably deserves it from some group or something. So we'll see. Um, yeah, I, 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 it sounds like a British thing. I looked up John Barrowman and I got like Doctor Who. I saw he was in Doctor Who. I don't know if he was Doctor Who. I don't care if he was a Doctor Who. I don't watch Doctor Who. I don't care for Doctor Who. I'm never going to take the time to watch Doctor Who. I don't give a shit about Doctor Who. I'm never going to binge watch Doctor Who. People love Doctor Who. People got pissed that there's a female doctor as Doctor Who now. And those people suck. They absolutely suck. They're annoying. They're stupid. Not my doctor. Well, you know what? It's fine. And why are there always different Doctor Whos? I don't understand. And I don't care enough to figure out why it's that way. I don't care. I see Doctor Who videos. Um on on uh, TikTok and I quickly scroll through them because I have absolutely no interest at all at all in Doctor Who so I don't care about any of the hate that Doctor Who is getting or John Barrowman is getting whoever the fuck John Barrowman is so thanks for the contribution Here's one, the last one for this episode of the McTaggart Attack Podcast for July 21st, 2021. It's a text from my friend, John Suzuki. He's like, what's pissing me off? Our societal insatiable need, need desire to know everything. Case in point, I really like Jericho and appreciate his work. I have been really enjoying Dark Side of the Ring, but struggle with having such dark Real reality exposed on heroes of my youth. I have lived a perfectly good, normal, healthy life, not knowing that Jake's dad was a kid toucher or that Dynamite Kid was an asshole, etc. But for some reason, we, I, want to know. Can't drive by the car wreck without slowing down. Uh, I had to clarify with him because I believe Chris Jericho is just the narrator for um, Dark Side of the Ring. He's not one of the producers. He doesn't help create the show. I think he's just the narrator. I know these two guys from Canada are the like producers of the show. They're the ones that go do the filming and the interviewing and everything like that. And he makes valid points. It is, it is kind of like this desire for us to know what everything behind the scenes in front of the scenes sideways of the scenes everywhere and like dark side of the ring is a perfect example of that the stories the profiles that they have on dark side of the ring telling us these things that we didn't know about in professional wrestling and are we really sure that we really want to know about them once we hear about them yeah i i i, I agree to him to some extent but i will say that I'm, I'm, I do this. Of course, I want to know everything. I want to know behind the scenes and outside the scenes. I want to know the darkest side of the ring, quite frankly. Unless it involves a by hold, and I'm really not that interested, but I just, I just, I, I need to know. I want to know. I'm interested. I love Dark Side of the Ring. I loved finding out about Bruiser Brody's death, Gino Hernandez's death, Dino Bravo's death, all of the deaths. You know, I thought the Ultimate Warrior episode in season three was better than the A and E biography episode that they did that same week. I thought the 
Macho Man and Elizabeth episode in the very first episode of Dark Side of the Ring was a whole lot better than the stupid A&E biography that they did about the Macho Man, which was really a hit piece, hatchet job, piece of shit. Love Dark Side of the Ring. Uh, back to Bruiser Brody for a second. Um, I loved that uh, when Tony Atlas is talking about bringing Bruiser Brody to the hospital and he's in the emergency room and he's been stabbed. They take the boots off and they show his blue feet and Tony Atlas just starts bawling because it's a known fact that Tony Atlas has a foot fetish. And when he saw those feet, he just was moved to tears and started screaming and being upset. And I found that hilarious. I did. I totally fucking found that hilarious. And, uh, uh, yeah, I love Dark Side of the Ring. I want more Dark Side of the Ring. I can't wait for the second half of season three of Dark Side of the Ring. So bring it on. Bring it on. I need more Dark Side of the Ring, quite frankly. Can't wait what they're going to do in the second half. I didn't. I forgot what they're doing in the second, in the second half of season three. But I, I, I think I think the plane ride from hell is one of those things. I need to know about that. I need to know about all of this. Tell me all of it, because I need more, 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 more. The veil on society has been ripped off, and we're all knowing everything about each other, because that's how the world works now. And if you're not happy with that, then don't tell anybody about your life. Stop posting shit on social media. You know, don't don't be a private person. You have the right to do that, but we also have the right to find out about it if you expose yourself by social media or whatever. And we need more shows like Dark Side of the Ring. Dark Side, Dark Side of Football is stupid. I hate Dark Side of Football because I, I think that's dumb. But Dark Side of the Ring is fucking spectacular. And I need more of it. I need to know about more wrestling scandals. It's just great storytelling. And I enjoy that show very much. So go check out Dark Side of the Ring. You can watch it on YouTube or whatever. Or Vice TV. Or something. Just go check it out. Because it's good. Even if you're not a wrestling fan. You'd enjoy Dark Side of the Ring. Okay. We've reached. We've reached the end of. This episode. Of the McTaggart Attack Podcast. For July 21st. 2021. Thank you. For watching. And or listening. I appreciate it. But before I go. I wanted to. Uh, unveil. A new segment called The Final Attack, where I give a final thought on something that I wanted to talk about, but forgot to talk about in the beginning of the episode. At least that's what I'm doing this time around. And this sort of harkens back to the stand-up comedy that I talked about in the beginning of this week's episode. But I just, I really, it has to do with the sense of humor. It has to do with those people that don't have a sense of humor. It has to do with those people who who, te- who, who get mad at you for laughing at stuff. Just laughing. For having a sense of humor. Everybody needs a sense of humor. Everybody needs to laugh. We'd be a whole lot better as a society if we just laughed at stuff more. If we just found the hilariousness in things. We do. I mean, honestly, I'm sick and tired of like people getting in trouble for making fun of things. We need to make fun of things. We need to laugh at things. Because cause we cannot take the world so goddamn seriously. Because if we took the world seriously all the time, we wouldn't have a very long lifespan. You need to make fun. You need to have fun. You need to joke. You need to laugh. You need to poke fun. You need to... You can find humor in anything, and you should. Anything. I don't care what the topic is. It doesn't matter what the fuck the topic is. You can find humor in anything, and you should. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't hold back from laughing. You should, oh, I shouldn't laugh at this. Yes, you should laugh at that. If your thought is, I shouldn't laugh at this, then go ahead and laugh at it. Because it deserves to be laughed at. Everything in this world deserves to be laughed at. Everything in this world deserves to be ridiculed. We need to laugh. The more that we laugh, the better a world that will be. Because let's face it, the world fucking sucks. 
And it has sucked, especially for the past year and a half for this pandemic. And that's because nobody wants to laugh at anything anymore. The world's a dark place. And we need to, just, we need to shed the light on that dark place by laughing at it. Because it deserves to be laughed at. Just like everything deserves to be laughed at. So there. And that's the bottom line. If you smell what the McTaggart Attack podcast. Available wherever you listen to podcasts and on YouTube. Is cooking.